Now, there's also been a lot of work done recently on cogeneration and trigeneration. That's where you run um, a generator fired by gas, typically, and you use the electricity to provide electricity into your building, and then you use the waste heat to provide heating or to um, operate a uh, absorption chiller to provide cooling. And people are putting this into new buildings. 530 Collins is a great example. And in fact, every new project that thinks it's going to be green says, I'll put in cogen and trigen. It's not a magic bullet. Okay? Typically, cogen and trigen is, from a neighbor's perspective, about half a star's worth. It's not going to take your two-star two, two star building to five-star. It's going to take your four-and-a-half-star building to five-star. So, so don't think about it as, as a magic bullet. It's also incredibly expensive. You know, you say cogen, and you're talking millions of dollars just like that, okay? It's really important to get sizing right. One of the most common mistakes with cogen units is to oversize them, uh, partly because uh, if you put in one generator to get the Green Star credit for peak demand, it's a generator size of 25% of peak load, which is far too large, okay? And the, the country is full of mothballs, cogen, and trigen sets that can't start because they've got one, one generator and it's too big to run. So be smart, size correctly. If you're going to put in 25% of your building's peak demand capacity in cogen and trigen, put in two or three generators. But that's going to cost even more. Okay? Um, and also consider the question of whether you can actually use the waste heat. Okay? This cogen and trigen is very popular in, in, um, in Europe because they have a 12-month heating season. We don't have a 12-month heating season. We don't even have a 12-month cooling season. We have a sort of three-month cooling season, a three-month heating season, and six months where we're not really doing anything if we're doing it right. So do you need all that waste heat? If you've got one, if you've got a cogen or trigen unit, what you want to do is run it as much as you can. Okay? If you're going to do that, um, you want to run it during peak electricity periods. Um, you still want to run your building efficiently. There's no point in running your cogen 19 to the dozen and then having a whole bunch of false loads because your building is inefficient that you're servicing. And I would actually strongly recommend considering third-party operation management. So there are a number of organizations that will take over your cogen trigen unit and say, we'll run it for you. You just take the electricity and the hot water. Okay? The advantage to that is that these things are maintenance nightmares. Okay? I mean, when you get to 10,000 hours, you've got a full rebuild on a cogen engine. Okay? It's, it's, it's you know, $100,000 just to do the rebuild. So they're very, very expensive. So to take those cash flow lumps out, consider just parceling the whole thing up and handing it to a third-party operator.